what we did in there was nothing compared to what goes on in the Congo. I mean, it's just nothing. It was, it was a brutal rape. Um, and it's going to be difficult for people to watch, but what happens in the Congo is, 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 is unspeakable in a way that is beyond any imagination. It's all just kind of, you know, coming back. Everything we kind of, all the people we met, and all the stories we heard, and this is making it somehow real all over again. We came with an idea here, and it became bigger and bigger by the minute. And, and I mean, we had, you know, just incredible people coming and, and helping out at the last minute just to make it happen the way the crew was put together and the number of people behind this um, uh, is just extraordinary. There is just so much inherent understanding of how important this is. There can be no excuse for ignoring it. It's happening now. It's happening a few hours flight away to people who have the same relationships with their children and with their parents as we do. I think there can be no excuse for not doing something. become desensitized to some t horrific things that, that happen, uh, especially if they're not in the West because we feel so uh, disconnected from them. I hope it's powerful enough that people can't be desensitized from it. There isn't a person on this earth that deserves to be treated how they do. It's really truly horrific and if we can just get some awareness about it then all the more the better. It has to have one impact, which is that things change. If you don't think it's acceptable here, then why the hell would you let it be acceptable somewhere else? 